Hello and welcome to more of the D8 action. Track frames off. This one hasn't been touched yet, but this one has. Started to strip it down. Get all the bits off, all the bolts. And we've assessed it and it's knackered. <laughs> so, we've got some straightening to do. Straighten this up with the gas. This bit's worn off where the chain jumps off a lot. So we're gonna replace this section with some fresh bar and get the stone guards off with these bolts. And then that should allow us to get rollers off, which look in pretty good condition. But it's whether these bolts come out and they're threaded through into a bar that runs inside the track frame so it's probably not going to be easy So we've put some 10 mil in this bit, 10 mil plate to match the rest. This is eight. I'm gonna cut this below it. So we're cutting this bit out. Come on. Get it in there. Without making too much of a step here, there's a change run down here. So anything that sticks out will pick up on the chain, which is not what you want. So this plate's in and stitched until we've uh, stitched the other plate in around the back. And then we'll fully weld it all. Probably do it all out here with the arc welder. Um, it'd be easier with a MIG, quicker, but it'd have to go inside where there's no breeze because it blows the gas away. So we'll see how we get on with the arc welder. Should have cut this plate out now with a plasma cutter. Got a line to follow. The cheap par weld didn't want to play today. Turn the power off. The welder. Two forty. Is it not getting its required voltage? Well, flashing light, what does that mean? I don't know. Fault light ain't flashing, it's the volt light. 
Plates in now, all stitched up. We'll do the rest of it in the workshop with the MIG welder. We have to get another par weld, art welder out, and throwing the other one away. Well, on the pile of other art welders, mainly par weld. So we're straightening this bit out now. So with these bits straightened up now, we're going to try and get the stone guards off. We're going to preheat all the bolts though, to let them cool down. And see if we have some luck later with them undoing. Bolts have all been super heated now. Just gonna let them cool down and then we'll get a bar on them, see what one does. So we've had no luck getting these rollers off. Bolts are just shearing. You can barely undo them with an inch bar. The ones we have undone, well, they broke like that. Only one has come out. We put the air gun on them and that's not moving them. Eventually it does just shear them off. Um, that's after preheating, so also the stone guard bolts have all sheared. The bars don't look too good inside though, to be fair. So we're gonna save the rollers now. I'm just gonna cut the heads off, pull rollers off, knock the bars down get them out and try and fix them in a vise where we can get a bit closer to the um, the stud. Get some better heat on, maybe weld some nuts on. And we potentially might use the other track frames that are on the D8. So we'll make that decision a bit later on. But yeah, we'll just get the rollers off now and go from there. So we try to lift them, but they still won't come off. We tried a few different things. But now we've decided to just cut them down a bit more with the gas. Try and blow the core out a little bit more. So I cool it down now with some water and they should come off now. So victory, we've got the first roller off now. It was really corroded on the studs, oh, the bolts. Took a lot of getting off. Can't wait to do the rest. 
but the important bit is we saved the roller. So, sandblast up, strip down, paint, rebuild, and it's good to go again. So we've been defeated by this one, we've got the rollers off, which took quite a lot of work and we just think it's not worth saving now, the bar's inside, too rotten and they look much better on the other D8 so we're going to rely on that one, hopefully reuse them or repair them ones. And chuck this one in the bushes for now until it goes to the scrap it's too much work inside's a bit rotten as well it's starting to go through shame but not economical to repair so we get the last few bits off underneath bolts keep everything we can and get the next one on the trestles get that strip to the same go from there in the next video we'll probably be stripping this transmission down getting the sprockets off saving some of the levers and the throttle getting the rest of the draw bar off hopefully that won't be so hard Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more D8 action in part 6 and don't forget 